Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be explaining the source layout for Python packaging, uh, which is a popular paradigm for setting up your Python package. And I'm going to explain why it's useful and also why I don't bother with it. <laughs> I know I'm wrong, but it's whatever. <laughs> Let's jump into it. Uh, so I'm going to take an existing package that I have uh, called PyUpgrade. It's a tool that, uh, you know, it's, un it's unrelated to this video, but it's a tool that upgrades Python source. Um, and it's not set up using the source layout. It's set up using a traditional layout where you would have uh, your Python package or packages. In this case, it's just a single Python file at the root of the repository. And, you know, your tests adjacent to it and the other, you know, setup.py, setup CFG to set up your Python packaging. And I'll show you that it works today. If we run the tests, uh, let's just run with whatever, Python 3.7. That seems fine. Um, and I've, I've slightly simplified the testing just for the sake of this video. It's just going to run PyTest with the tests. There's some other stuff that it used to do as well. Um, but you can see that the test passed fine and the, the project works. Um, and the little bit of code that makes the packaging work is set up where is it? here. Um, Py modules equals Py upgrade. And that tells the setup tools machinery how to install this package. Now, I'm going to intentionally break this package, uh, but unfortunately, none of my tests are going to catch it. Uh, and, and so, like, this, this one line that does the, the packaging magic, we're just going to comment that out. And you'll notice that even if I, you know, completely recreate this talks environment with the dash r argument, you'll notice that my tests still mysteriously pass, even though I have completely broken the packaging. So you can see tests are all passing. Uh, I can show you that the packaging is broken by doing py37 bin python setup.py estis. Yeah, that's still on screen. Cool. Uh, so I made a distribution of this. And if we make a separate virtual environment, virtual and vm, vm bin activate, if we pip install that distribution just by doing this, uh, and then I, if I were to run py upgrade, You'll notice here that I get model not found error, and this is because we failed to actually package the project properly. Um, but our test didn't show that, and that's that's the problem, and that's what the source layout solves. So let's uh, let's break the tests to show that I broke the packaging, I guess. <laughs> so the way the source layout works is you make a source directory. So let's do make to source, and this is what you now treat as the root of your uh, Python packaging. Actually, before we go on to that, let me tell you why um, why the tests are still passing and why the source layout will fix that. So the reason the, the tests are still passing, oh, we need Python 3, we need a virtual env, uh, and we'll pip install dot, which is similar to how talks would have run my tests. And if we do Python 3, if we do uh, import sys and look at sys.path, You'll notice that the first entry of sys.path is this empty string. And that empty string means that Python will search for modules at your current working directory, uh, which in the case of non-source layout contains my code. And so even though my packaging is broken, it's still importing from my source code directory. Uh, and you'll see if I do import pyupgrade, it works here because there's a pyupgrade.py file um, sitting in my work working directory. And it didn't work over here because it didn't get included in the packages. Uh, so that's that's why the tests still pass. Uh, so let's show how we would fix this. I think I already made the source directory. Yeah. So you can see the source directory here. We're going to move pyupgrade.py. Py move. Why is my tab completion broken? Oh, I cd it into source. <laughs> We're going to move the pyupgrade.py file into the source directory. And now if we run our tests, uh, so if we do talks, we'll, we'll recreate just for, just for sanity's sake. Usually you don't need recreate, but since we're modifying the packaging here, I find that recreate is a good, like, way to restore sanity here. Cool. So now it's, it's failing as we expect. Our packaging is broken and you'll see that we get this module not found error, no module named pi upgrade for all of our tests. So all of our tests are failing there. That's good. That's a good thing. So now let's show how to actually implement the uh, the packaging that makes this tick. So the first thing that you do is, well, we, we put back the Py modules. That still doesn't fix it. So if we run this again, it should still fail. In fact, I think it should fail at the packaging setup. 
maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, it still fails. Uh, but we need to tell setup tools that we introduce a source directory. And the way you do that is in this same options uh, thingy here, you set package dir equal to source. <laughs> so this is um, the package dir is actually a mapping. And what we're actually doing here is we're mapping the empty string to source. You can actually map individual sub packages of your package to other directories. I've never seen this be super useful, but it is a thing that can happen. Um, but this maps any module, so the empty string being the prefix of all of your other modules, it maps that to the source directory. And so that's that's it. That's how you set up the um, the package jar. And in theory, this should this should pass the test now. Uh, yeah, and you can see that we've restored our test now. And if we were to make that source distribution again, oops, not bad. This. Um. If we were to sdist, make the source distribution again, and set this up, and we're going to install the actual produced package this time, you'll notice that once we install that, pyupgrade will work again. Um, so we've, we've fixed our packaging, and we've ensured that we're not accidentally importing from the source directory when we meant to be importing from um, the installed package. Anyway. That's why you would use the source layout. Uh, the reason that I don't use the source layout personally is, um, I don't know, the other way works well enough for me and I haven't bothered to switch my packages to it. There's also some other complications when using the source layout, like it's a little bit more difficult to use coverage pi and um, some other utilities that expect, um, expect the paths at runtime to match those of your source directory. Uh, but there are ways around that and there are ways to fix it. I just <laughs> I just can't be bothered. Um, and usually when I create new things, I just copy and paste the directories that I already have and I know that this packaging setup works. And um, yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's I know I'm wrong. <laughs> Trust me, I know I'm wrong. But anyway, hopefully this uh, helps you understand what the source layout is and why you might want to use it. And if you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.